The R functions associated with the binomial distribution, which we had seen previously, namely D binome, P binome, Q binome, and R binome, are just special cases of a more general program design, which is done very, very nicely in R. The convention here is that the first letter determines the action. Namely, if you have a D, you're computing f of x, which for a discrete distribution is the probability mass function. If the first letter is a p, you're computing the cumulative distribution function. If the first letter is q, you're computing what's known as a quantile, also known as a percentile. If the first letter is r, then you are generating random variates. Following that first letter are a bunch of other letters which will tell you the name of the probability distribution. You have seen binome for the binomial distribution, but there are other discrete distributions that are built in, such as geom for the geometric, n binome for the negative binomial, pois for the Poisson, hyper for the hypergeometric, and there are others. In chapter 5, we're going to be covering continuous distributions where you'll see UNIF for the uniform distribution, EXP for the exponential, GAMMA for the GAMMA distribution, NORM for the normal distribution, CHISQ for the chi-square distribution, and then the letters T and F for the T and F distributions. Again, these are just a sampling. R contains many more distributions than just those.